I'm hearing a bit of chatter about Jaime Munguia possibly facing Triple G in May, sometime around May 7th. It's not set in stone, so that's why I'm gonna give me I'm gonna give a who wins video. I lightly I touched on this on a previous video uh, about Jaime Munguia and Triple G, saying I think Jaime Munguia might give Triple G problems if they ever fought. So I'm just gonna give my take on these two fighters and what would happen if they fought. So we got Jaime Munguia, young boy. He's uh, 24 years old. He's only 24 years old. Mexican fighter, tough, good chin, good power, strong power, good, strong punching kid, man. 36 and 0, 29 knockouts, no losses, you know. And then you have Triple G, which is, uh, he's uh, quite a bit older. I would say, a lot of people would say he's, um, bit over the hill now he's well past his prime you know and i would have to agree i would have to agree um in his last fight um i don't know i'm not sure i gotta um, let me see who that last dude is that triple g fought who was the last dude he fought uh bear with me bear with me i'm pulling it up let me see triple g last fight was this guy named um camille i can't even pronounce his name dude this was in december uh camille says zermita i don't even know the fuck is, how to pronounce that shit he won that fight then before him he had a fight with sergey derianchenko that fight um that was a tough fight for triple g and i saw a lot and i'm like okay triple g is deteriorating bro and he fought Canelo in the last fight. He lost that fight against Canelo. I think he lost it too. Canelo had him running, backing up a lot in that fight. First fight, I think it was, I think uh, Triple G pulled that off, edged it a little bit, but the judges said it was a draw. I didn't see it as a draw, but he definitely lost the second fight against Canelo. Definitely, Canelo dominated that fight. So he's 38 years old. He's almost 40, you know. So a lot of times these boxes, when you know, you in your prime when you like uh, late tw late 20s, early 30s, you know, in your prime. He's pushing. He's in his late 30s now. So he's almost 40 years old. 41 fights, one loss. 41 wins, one loss, one draw. 36 knockouts. So his knockout ratio is right on on par with Jaime Munguia's. And how would this fight go if they ever signed the ink and decided to take it on and fight? Because, like I said, there there's chatter of that happening in May. We'll see. But the way I see that fight happening is, simply put, Triple G is going to be a slugfest. Triple G, that's what he. That's his specialty. He's Triple G also does have boxing skill. You just have to watch him, and you'll see. But for the most part, he doesn't have good footwork at all. Neither does Jaime Munguia. Jaime Munguia moves his head just a little bit better than, not too much better than Triple G. Um, you saw Triple G try to use head movement in his last uh, in his fight with Steve Rose. You should you should try to you saw a different Triple G. He tried to use upper body movement. He tried to move his head a little bit more. You know, but that's not his style, man. His style is pressure you break you down and you know slug it out especially with that overhand right that he throws uh he could possibly crack Munguia with that right but Munguia you know a lot of these Mexicans got chins bro a lot of these Mexicans have chins most of these Mexican fighters have chins bro most of them even like a lot of the Hispanic fighters you know uh, like Danny Garcia and all like they got chins dude the Mexican fighters, a lot of them, I've never, I'm trying to figure out how many of the top Mexican fighters I've ever seen really hurt like that. 
um not many man not many of them i have never seen them really like get cracked and just wobbling all over the place I, i've i've rarely seen that for many mexican fighters so i think once him and triple g start mixing it up it's gonna be very telling and i think jaime Munguia is gonna take a lot of triple g's punches i can definitely see that i see um and let me add this miguel burchette that's probably like one of the only mexicans i've really seen wobbled like that you know what i mean but shit shit happens it's boxing but that fight is going to be a rock'em sock'em fight you're going to see a lot of phone bull fighting uh my Mungia has good um but better body work than triple g you're gonna see Mungia go to the body and i think you might see triple g get get bloody in that fight it might you might see him get injured and they might possibly stop that fight because of an injury like an eye or something like that i see that happening in that fight if not the fight's gonna go to the cards and it goes to the cards it's probably gonna go um to triple g so i got triple g uh edge and jaime Munguia, but i see it being a very close fight well a lot of people don't see that but i see it being a very close fight even though triple g's over the hill I think he's a little bit, he's, he has, he definitely has more ring, ring IQ than uh, Jaime Munguia. He's a little bit more of a disciplined fighter. So um, he's going to out, he's going to more than likely outbox Jaime Munguia to a 12th round decision. I don't see him knocking out Jaime Munguia. I don't see it. I've seen channels where they said they see that happening. I don't see it. I do see, I do see this fight going to the distance and it's going to be Triple G is going to be the winner. But I also can see there's a possibility for this fight getting stopped and that's the only way Jaime might end up winning you know like he punched Triple G the wrong way busts his eye and then it gets too bad and he starts bleeding and they can't stop it or it gets worse and Jaime might win that way I can see that happening but the overall um conclusion I think Triple G is going to win 12th round decision get back to me let me know how you think a fight between Jaime Munguia and Triple G will play out I'll catch y'all later